Okay, and welcome back to Wings Remastered. So we're about to go strafe the train. Hmm. I have turned the um, what do you call it? The enemy targeting back off because that was I don't know. It was a bit too big. All I wanted Whoever was the little arrow. This idea of strafing trains should be court-martialed. Bullets bounce off trains. It was going to take a lot of hits to get this one off the tracks. All right, let's see what we can do. Got our iron. my mark. Well, that's what you get. I know we're near the end of the train too. You have to get the engine to actually win it. Oh, it still says it was a success though, so... Okay. None of those missions make the slightest bit of difference to the game. Didn't mean to sound bitter in yesterday's entry. Guess I was a bit tired. Even more tired than usual. Hardly slept at all last night. Thinking a lot about home. Wishing I were behind the wheel of Dad's Model T instead of going up daily in these death crates. Anyway, our new bombs arrived thanks to General Trenchard, and we have orders to make use of them on the Met's aerodrome. Oh yes, let's shall. Bomb the hangar. And any planes. Sighting the oft bludgeoned aerodrome, I readied my parcels for special delivery. With the fall of this base, the territory underfoot would soon be in the bag. Special delivery. Now we don't have the targets anymore, so we have to remember. One, two, three. I think we can handle it. Yes, 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 and four planes. Too bad. The skies have been almost silent. Belka is back from Turkey and quietly reorganizing the Luftstrike craft to counter our offensive on the Somme. No contact with the Hun for days. Eerie. We're scheduled today for one of our last patrols over Verdun. I don't want to face the Colonel without a victory. Okay. Defeat all enemy planes. If you don't get a victory, you're dead, so. As we approached the war torn fortress city, we were saddened to see our battered men still dug into their positions. The three of us split up as a single attacker tried to add our hides to the landscape. Bad move, buddy. Yeah, we don't have targeting help anymore. I see that. So this is steering with the mouse. And this is steering with the keyboard. I don't know which I prefer. The keyboard's better for these little bits. Farah has been preoccupied, and I'm sure there's something weighing on his mind. 
If I were a gambling man, and I don't know a pilot who isn't, I bet it has to do with the runner who brought today's orders. He'd just come from the Somme, his shredded uniform a blood-soaked sponge. Like good soldiers, we're waiting to be called there as we continue to obediently patrol Metz. A major two captains and a first lieutenant. I know what we're going to come up against here then. The Solfokker in front of us wasn't much of a reason for being here. Since there was four of us and one of him, we were obliged not to fire. Yet I had a funny feeling he wasn't alone. Godfrey stole our kill. We need 50. Farah is chewing through a lot of cigars these days. We seldom see his face without a helmet of dark brown smoke. Last night at dinner, the stench nearly made me sick. According to our latest orders, there's an old stone bridge at Metz that the Germans have heavily barricaded as a crossing point for supplies to the front. This morning, we're off to bomb it. Still waiting for the the storyline that I've always remembered. Can't remember the guy's name. I think it's the sergeant. Goes to the outhouse. No one but a pilot knows how good it feels to see an enemy bridge collapse. Nor can anyone but a pilot know how frightening it is to see an enemy bridge buttressed by anti-aircraft guns. All right. So the bridge is the thing that goes across the water, is it? We only have four bombs. like it. Bridge, yes. Trucks, no. Belka, it's only got 19 kills. This morning's mission to bomb the train station at Saraberg will mark our final foray in this sector. Farah has given the word that we're packing it in and heading to the Somme, to a new aerodrome near the town of Amiens. Will I miss our tidy little bastion here at Luxel? No more than a fox misses his den after it's been ravaged by hounds. Au revoir, Verdun. Okay, train station. Should be a pretty big target. Missed what the secondary objective was. Spotting the Saraberg train station. I knew that HQ was using our leverage to cut off the transport of German troops. Bombing it was key to opening the line so we could move to new terrain. 
Oh, three of them. Okay. We didn't get the train, seriously. Didn't see if it actually went up in smoke or not. Oh. Christ. Farah is some kind of slave driver. Kept us up all night pitching camp at Amiens after a five day base move, half of it marching through rain and mud. I certainly don't envy the trench rats. Patrolling over the Somme for the first time today. Farah has instructions to let our presence be known here. If we bring down a Fokker or two, that ought to do the job. Alright, should get our 50th kill now. And Amiens. Outnumbered by one, we spotted a recently commissioned albatross along with a trio of Eindeckers. The time was right to see how Germany's new biplane would fight. Okay. Final explosion, trumpeting our victory, we bid adieu. All four for me, thank you, Warren. Hey! Finally got a medal. Big headlines in the newspaper. Romania has declared war on Austria-Hungary. Then Italy declared war on Germany, and Germany declared war on Romania. Nice of the Italians to join us. Meanwhile, we're off to strafe the Somme trenches. Not sure how this kind of mission is supposed to go, but I'm about to get some on-the-job training. Hmm. Strafe infantry. I don't like these trench strafing ones. Always used to get shot down. There's a lot of dudes, and you have to shoot them at the right time when Flying they pop Flying low on the horizon, I got my first good look at the putrid trenches from above. Seeing the hordes under siege in their mud prison, I gave thanks for having made it into the air corps.
we haven't seen them down there. We got it. I don't think we hit many. 28 out of 50. Barely over half. Got my first letter from home today. The post certainly takes its time. Mother says she hopes I'll be home for Christmas. While that's still a long way off, I have serious doubts. Maybe Christmas 1917. Our nosy neighbours across the line are now keeping a steady stream of balloons looking over the Somme from San Quentin. We're going to make sure they come down ahead of schedule. Alright, balloon busting sortie. The misty banks of the Somme came into view with a duo of plump eavesdroppers. Also in view were two ravenous eindeckers below them. I wasn't in any mood to help their pilots earn the blue max. See one plane. survivor returns. I doubt it. There are a lot of planes left in the air then. Du, du, du. Wing HQ advises us to prepare for a long stay in Amiens. The trenches are being fortified and it's starting to look like another Verdun. Trench warfare is a damn stupid way to fight a war if you ask me. I'm patrolling the Somme today with one of the other chaps. Bosch patrols have increased in response to our river raids. There are no more easy days. Okay, well I'm going to take a short break here. When we come back, we shall do this next mission, which is going to be to defeat all enemy planes. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.